My day-to-day -day life outside of rugby is I'm training to be a midwife, trying to empower women to um, come across this brilliant part of their life, which is a changing moment for them to bring babies into the world. Um, I'm really, really privileged to have, be in this situation right now and also getting the opportunity to train at King's College London, which is ranked number one in Britain right now and I think it's either second or third in the world. So I'm just in a very lucky place there. It's extremely difficult juggling, being a mother, training to be a midwife and then obviously my commitment to rugby. Um, I get weeks sometimes where it's nearly impossible, but I always believe that if you want to do something, you always find a way. And that's something I'm striving to. You can always do more than what you actually think you can achieve. When my first cap was absolutely amazing, I've been chasing this cap for so many years, um, overcoming so many injuries. And when I moved away from Wales and had my son, I generally thought I would never get that cap. Um, and after having a lot of thought, I thought I'd give it a try one more time. Um, and it literally meant everything. The sacrifice I put in and overcoming so many challenges. Getting that cap was like all the sacrifice that I've been through, all the challenges I've overcome, and it just meant everything to me. I was um, fortunate enough to walk on the Principal Stadium on Mothering Sunday with my son, and it was something I'd never even dreamt of. Um, to be able to play, to walk on this stadium, was lucky enough as a women's rugby player, be at alone to walk on my son, who has most of my sacrifices on him. It was incredible, and hopefully a memory that will last a lifetime. With rugby and more sports, it gives you so much discipline and resilience. It's something when I work several hours and changing shifts, it keeps me resilient and keeps me going. The women have a massive autumn series this year. It's the, probably the best one they've ever had. And this one will actually be capped. This is a, a fantastic opportunity for them. Um, and I can't wait to either be a part of it or watch the girls play these games.